Hey guys, um, I've been getting some requests on how to make these paper roses. Uh, they're about one and a half inches wide, and they're just adorable. You can't see, but I add glimmer mist to all of these. Um, I made 25 for my friend Deb. I made 15. I'm making 15 for Miriam. Um, I'm going to make some for my friend Joan, and I have them for sale on Etsy at etsy.com slash shop slash naive glow and I will also post a link to the tutorial that I followed to make these it's just it wasn't in video form so I'm merely um, transforming it into video format so that if you're more of a visual person you can uh, see how this works um, first of all you're going to need a flower punch and this one has six petals um, preferably has six but apparently you can do it with five uh, I haven't tried that, but this one is, I think, about two inches wide, and I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's from the Paper Studio. And so, um, for the sake of time, I've already punched out three, um, three petals, or three, little, three flowers. And the first thing is to add some contrasting color, um, some ink, to kind of add interest to the edges. And this one I'm not doing a lot, because I want to really make sure that the color but the yellow color remains dominant because when you start curling the paper up you kind of see mostly the inked edges so I'm going to say this really lightly and it helps when your ink pad is sort of drying out that makes it a little easier and I'm almost done okay and the next step is to take one of your petals or one of your flowers um, and you're going to cut in between one of the in between two of the petals right to the center and then you're done with that one for right now then you're going to make another cut in the second flower right to the center and then you're going to come over one petal over and cut towards the center so that now you have that petal and you want to keep this petal you don't don't throw it out you're going to need it and then you're going to cut in the middle of the third flower and then you're going to go two petals over so that you cut two of the petals out and Next, you're going to take your glue, and I'll start with this one first because this one is always kind of hard for me. But you um, take your glue and you bend it over like that. It's really stubborn at first, but then you just kind of fiddle with it and you get it to stay. So I set that one aside, and I've already done uh, some others, so you don't have to. Well, actually, I can I can show you just in case. Um, and this one you're just going to do the same thing. It's just going to be a little easier because the petals are farther or closer together. So, and then this one is the easiest one to fold. Like that. And while those are drying, I've already got some punched out and, and folded. Uh, what I do with this one, because the point, you see how pointy that is, is I just take my fingers and push them in so that it will sit flat on a, page, on a piece of paper or page, a project, whatever. Um, and then you're going to take a stylus. This is a paper piercer or a wooden skewer, and you're just going to curl the edges like this. And this is my least favorite part, actually. Next to uh, inking the edges, I just find it tedious and boring. But uh, maybe I'm just tired of making these. I don't know. Could be. Ah! I'm sorry, my camera's not very sturdy right now. And I don't have my editing software right now. But my mom spilled Diet Coke all over my laptop and fried it. So, that's going to take a while to save the money to repair it. $1,280 to repair my MacBook Pro. Um, anyway, let's see. And the next step is to take these ones that you, these, uh, this is the three petal flower and I'm going to cut the tip off so that it doesn't sit so high on the flower so you end up with a slit in the middle and then the four petal flower I'm going to do the same thing and then I'm just going to add glue you can add glue to this one or you can add glue to the center of the uh, five petal flower and I'm going to offset it so that the petals I'm assuming that they're really nice and distributed around. I'm just kind of curling the, the edges a little bit further. Then you take your three petal flower, add your glue, and then glue it to the center. 
and voila. Uh, and then what you're going to do with the petals that you cut out is um, you're just going to roll them up. I usually do this on the desk, but I can't. Uh, you can't see that, so I'm just rolling it like a sleeping bag, so that I have this looking deal here. And it's not going to be perfect, and that's okay. Then I'm going to cut a little bit off the end so that it doesn't sit so high in the flower, just like I did with the points. Take my glue and set it in the middle kind of towards the edge. And if you're wondering why I keep my glue set like this, it's so that it doesn't all run down. When I set it like this, all the glue falls to the bottom and it takes longer to um, get it out. And so the next step with this little petal, the single one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to roll it up. I'm going to cut off the end of it, add the glue, and then just add it in the center. And there you have a paper rose. Adorable. Uh, will look great on any card or scrapbook page or project, mini album, whatever. And I always spray mine with glimmer mist, as I mentioned before. I'm using iridescent gold for this one. Um, just to add some special glimmer to it. Uh, and that is the tutorial. And I hope you found it interesting. If you have any questions, please ask. Thanks for watching. Bye.